Hey guys, Tyler here. Today I'm trying out a little to the left, a puzzle game where the solution is always the most satisfying outcome. You have to create something extremely satisfying and then you solve the puzzle. It's interesting. You gotta figure out like the most satisfying way for things to line up. And it's just a bunch of different letters of varying size. So maybe you have to, oh yeah, you listen to a little ding to help you out. You put them from biggest to smallest and that does look in fact very satisfying. It soothes the brain. There's a lot more pattern recognition, which I think is universally interesting. Like here you can see there's a pattern where it's like red star, blue star, springy squiggle, and then yellow X. So since I'm putting stuff on a calendar, it's probably got to fit, fit that pattern. Yeah, it sounds like it. What an interesting calendar to haunt. Two days later is this loop-de-loops. I bet it's probably the orange one since the blue one just happened. Then two days later is a star. Yeah, it's interesting that this isn't like a, a weekly setup. This person just operates independent of weeks. To be honest, I do too. So this is at least relatable to me. Next comes the loop-de-loop, -loop, which is gonna be a nice blue one slash purple, then a red star. Yeah, how about that? And now I get to do my best BOGO sort impression. Of course, I gotta arrange the books from smallest to biggest. BOGO sort would get there eventually, it'll just take its time. Oh no? Oh, maybe it's the stuff on the bottom. Yeah, I bet that lines up. I don't even know where to begin. These horns go together? And I guess I see a little arch sort of deal. Maybe this can continue here? Or here? This? No? That one looks a little better. No? Hold on. This is... Yeah, not what I expected, but welcome nonetheless. That connects? Does this connect? Almost. Not quite. These two connect, but I think it's going to be symmetrical by the end of it. That would be very satisfying. Yeah, okay, multiple arches. I don't know, something feels weird about this banana boomerang just floating in the air. It also doesn't line up perfectly. This actually is more symmetrical. Well, I wonder then... No, surely not. I mean, this is a clean arch as well. Well, that could be part of it. Oh, that could be interesting. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Wait a second. Oh, this is looking really nice. Hold on. That's beautiful, isn't it? One star? Then what's the second way to solve this? Well, oh, hold on. There's one of the shortest ones. So what if I have that in the middle and then have the book size increase and decrease on each side, almost creating a big V? This would be pretty satisfying. Oh, this is funny. I think I gotta get the houses to be <laughs> horizontal. Same with the people. You gotta tilt the painting so their landscapes are even. Yeah, I gotta make sure gravity works properly on this building. And then gotta make sure the waters are even. We don't have a slanted ocean. Please drag further. There we go. That is blurred. Well, I don't even know how to begin with this. Does this connect? Can I rotate? Oh, I know. These two definitely connect. That looks like an edge piece. This looks like it connects. Okay, so it's a wide one. Probably not like that. So this looks like it could be a top row, actually. Since there's nothing going up, but there is stuff going down. Oh, okay, that goes in the bottom corner. Cool. There's more looking for... Oh, that looks great. I'm not getting many dings, though. And that looks right, too. That also looks right. I mean, the, oh, no, it's not quite right. I see where the issue may lie. Yeah, what a bait this is, huh? Because obviously this doesn't fit here. I mean, this corner, it dinged, so I have to build off of it. This is probably next to it, huh? Right here? Oh, that makes way more sense. But then this would have to be here. This over. And then maybe I need this to... Oh, wiggle down here. 
Oh, I see. So it doesn't form, form a perfect rectangle. That's what got me. I expected to be three by four. How baity? What about this one? Oh, uh, do I range the pencils in level of sharpness? Yeah, I better do that instead of the size of the pencil. The size is a bait. Yeah, but it's kind of similar. No, that's just one star. So one of them definitely has to be eraser size. I will be shocked if that's not it. And here I've got them from smallest to biggest eraser. It could be pencil color in rainbow order. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Maybe I have to go back. Oh, that dinged. Okay, maybe I just have to fit everything on the screen without overlapping. Like, it feels like a ticket could go up here. The corner is bent, so I bet that has something to do with that. Fit everything on the screen. I mean, it has to go either at the top or at the bottom. But it goes at the bottom. No, it doesn't look like it fits. What could fit in here? That looks like it could fit. Does this fit? Oh, that fits beautifully. That could fit something right in there. Probably big boy goes right there okay get everything on screen no you ruined it like cleaning let that be a lesson never clean up all the books are the same height but they do have like a different number of symbols on the side so it looks like i probably have to line up the lines and the symbols or maybe the bold line has to go from bottom to top so you can see these lines are low yeah, they slowly increase in height. This has to be it. Oh, I almost missed the first one. Bold line right at the bottom. And that'll do it. Yeah, just an increasing line of lines. Still one star. This one could also be ordered by thickness, possibly. This is really hard to tell, though, especially as it goes on, like, what's more thick than the other. Oh, this is like minuscule differences at this point. Some of them are exactly the same size. So what gives? How about by color? There's like red purple, red pink, red orange. Maybe this red orange first. Orange orange, orange yellow. Yellow orange, yellow yellow, yellow green. This actually looks like it could work. Green yellow, green green, green blue, blue green, blue blue. Blue, purple, purple, blue, purple, purple, and then purple, red. Cool. Chapter two, lost recipe. We're cooking with puzzles now. Oh, you gotta center the labels. Or, oh, yeah. Oh, or you gotta have the center one be center and then the side ones kind of carry on with the side. Kind of like this. You can see how it's kind of a continuation. And then this would likely be very label heavy. Like that. But that's not it. Well, it worked that time. Felt a little finicky. The pickled vegetables. Well, I could start by arranging my water level. This is probably one of two. One of three. We can do ratios of yellow to green. This is most yellow, pretty darn yellow, still pretty darn yellow, pretty balanced. Mostly green, somewhat green, all the way green. And we could try size of the jars. Nice. This, oh, you gotta rotate the bowls. Ah, you figure out how to make everything connect. Well, it looks like everything but the top one is good. That looks good. Maybe I gotta connect the cracks as well. Well, let's see. Uh, there's no cracks. Oh, there is a crack on the bottom one. There's a crack in the second one. Yeah, connect the crack. That looks connected. I don't know, I really thought it'd be connecting the crack. Maybe hide all the crack? Oh, now it dinged. It would seem that the vibes are finicky today. Oh, there's probably a lot of ways to do these. Let's start by connecting the slopes. Yeah, the way it slopes all around. Bottom looks good.
Hold on, there we go. That lines up. I was like, does it seem right? That seems right. It's a nice roller coaster. And I would imagine then I do color gradients again. From most yellow to most red. And we'll go most orange to most blue. Got some nudes. Do you dare put the pasta in the pasta? Pastaception? Now that'd be a dish. I don't think so, though. I'm not sure what it wants from me yet. Maybe just most satisfying arrangement of pasta imaginable. Most satisfying arrangement possible. Well, there is a size and organization going on. That honestly might just be it. Arrange them in order of height. Is it slightly wrong? You could arrange them in order of bendiness. The right is very straight. And then we got slightly more bending. You got a C, you got a single swirl, you got more swirls, more swirls, more swirls, like that. More swirls. Oh, nice. And it's also arranged by size. That double satisfying. Whoa. Okay, glasses. So houses, birds, and fish. It's all at C. Maybe I got to create one matching picture. Or maybe I have to line up what's on the front with what's on the back because you can kind of see the back. Maybe I find the one thing that overlaps, like the bird and the bird directly behind it, and overlap that. Overlap the bird again? It dinged, so something's right. That dinged. Okay, overlap the bird. None of the birds overlap cleanly. Maybe just overlap a fish this time? I don't see any overlapping fish. I guess that's just right. I'm not entirely sure what that one was. A breakfast plate. Maybe I gotta have all the food be able to fit on the plate without overlapping. I bet that's it. There's sort of hints in the back. Sort of. Oh, I see. I bet I have to have the oranges around the edges like this for a nice symmetry. And maybe a strawberry and blueberry in every corner. Strawberry in every corner here. Blueberries seem to want to go here. That is neat. What about the toast? What about the egg? Maybe the egg goes on the toast. Because it is tastier that way. Instagram worthy. What's up with this? Oh, do I have to connect these into like one full scenery thing? Like, blue goes by blue. I maybe can connect the stream. Yeah, yeah, can you connect the water? That's the idea. But there's also underwater deeps. Oh, I see. Hold on. This looks like it could align. The cloud looks like it aligns. The stream looks like it goes out here. I guess I could put the city here. Oh, that works way better. Just gotta shift everything a little to the right. That looks right. It's a bunch of pictures of a cat causing chaos. They're supposed to go side by side, is that how it works? So maybe you have like one picture and then the dot symbolizes a color is in the next picture. Start with this picture. There's a red dot, so there's red from the wine. There's green in the next picture, so it would be this one. This has a blue dot. This is pretty blue, so then it's orange. And this is orange? I mean, this looks good. I don't see what the issue is. I guess it could be ordered by degree of it being knocked over. So here the cat is contemplating. Here the cat is approaching. Here the cat is tipping. Here the thing's about to hit the ground. And here the cat is seeing the aftermath. Ah. This is like a more tangible version of Understand. You're trying to figure out the rules of the puzzle. I feel like if you enjoy this game, you would enjoy Understand and vice versa. I did enjoy Understand. I am enjoying this. So let me know what you think. See y'all in the next video. More puzzles in the future. Have a wonderful day and peace.